Mr. Lazy Bear, Mr. Lazy. Mr. Lazy Bear, then Sleepy Duck, which is a very lazy looking sleepy place. The birds in Sleepy Land fly so slowly, sometimes fall out of the sky. The grass takes so long to grow, it only needs cutting once a year. Even the trees are lazy looking and sleeping like. And do you know what time it? everybody gets up in sleeping then? The answer is they don't go get up in the morning. They get up in the afternoon. And instead of this is when the sleeping land clock looks like. Everything takes so long, there's only time for four hours a day. Anyway, this story starts with Mr. Lazy. Begin fast asleep in bed, in sleepy land, they collect. Begin slow asleep. He spends rather a lot of time in bed. His favorite place to be. He opened his eyes, yawned and yawned again, and went back to sleep. He then, later, Mr. Lazy opened his eyes again, yawned and yawned again, and went back to sleep again. Much later, Mr. Lazy got up and went to make his breakfast. He say breakfast, although really it was tea time. He put the kettle on to make some tea. Kettle take two hours to boil a sleepy land. Then he toast a slice of bread, but it takes three hours to Brown and sleepy land, so it never gets burned there. While well, he was waiting for his kettle to boil his bread to toast, Mr. Lazy went into the garden of a young cottage, was which where he lived. He sat down on the chair. And you, and you can probably guess what happened next. That's right, he yawned and yawned again and went back to sleep. Sorry, he woke up with a jump, which is something that doesn't happen very often to Mr. Lazy. And the reason why he woke up with a jump is because of a noise. Wake up, said the noise. Wake up, wake up, wake up. There was two men standing in front of the bustle, were bustle and busy, they replied. Oh, said Mr. Lazy. Come along now, said Mr. Busy. We haven't got all day, but, said Mr. Lazy. No time for but, said Mr. Busy, or it's added. Mr. Bustle, there's wood to chop and a bed to make and a floor to clean and a cloth to get in the windows to polish and a plate to wash and a furniture to dust and a grass to cut and a head to cut and a food to cook and the clothes to mend and it makes it busy. Oh dear, poor Mr. Lazy, is this the wood to clean the beds to get the floors to cut the, and the coat to cook and the window to make and a place to mend in, the furniture to chop and the grass to wash and the hedges to dust the clothes to clip? It got it all complicated work. Well, it was such a days. That Mr. Buzzle Busto 
bustle, bustle and busy. Set Mr. Lazy to work, chopping and making and cleaning and getting polished and washing and dusting and cutting and clipping and cooking and mending, not to mend and mend and mend and mend and carry poor Mr. Lazy. Now they said when he finished, it's time for a walk and they and off they said, the longest walk Mr. Lazy had ever been on. Mr. Lazy was one of the people who never walks when he has a chance sitting down and never sits down when he has a chance of lying down. But this day he had no choice. They made him walk for miles and miles and miles until he, he felt his leg must be worn right down to his body. So Mr. Lazy. When they arrived back at Young Cottage, Mr. Busy said, Right now for one. Oh no, called Mr. Lazy. When I blow this whistle, Mr. Buzzer put in a whistle. You've got to start warning as fast as you can, said Mr. Busy. Mr. Lazy ground a deep groan and closed his eyes. Mr. Bustle put his whistle to his lip. With the whistle. Whee! Went the whistle again. Mr. Lazy, poor Mr. Lazy, started to run. His legs were hitting him anyway. He opened his eyes and looked down to see why he and the reason his legs weren't getting him anyway was because he was sitting on a chair in the garden and there was no sign of Mr. Busy and Mr. Bustle. It had all been a terrible dream. The whistle was whistling kettle boy in the kitchen. Mr. Lazy had the slide with it and so he went to the kitchen and sat down to have his breakfast and think about his dream. But do you know what happened next, don't you? Wake up, Mr. Lazy! Wake up, wake up, wake up! The end will let us do a piece of guy and thumbs up with still soothing into the door.